Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So this morning, uh, we've got to get the rest of the bales in off the field. We have also got to... Oh, I don't know what else we've got to do. But um, yeah, first of all, it'll be the rest of the bales time. We've got, oh, we've got to get some seed in the ground. We've got to plant some grass. Nice early morning. Yeah, we're going to be dividing this field up into different grass fields. Or into different fields, I should say. And then the other side. Will be our, uh, our large arable field over there. But yeah, this is going to be, first of all, we need to get all the bales in off both this field and the other field. And I know that's what we finished previous episode on, but that's what we're going to do this time. I did think about it, and I think next time I'm going to get a loading wagon. I'll probably have to get that anyway to be able to make silage. I've got a silage pit that I've crudely made out of tyres and grass. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, got a long way to go with things. I think I can get a loading wagon that um, could be pulled by this tractor, maybe. Hopefully. But we also need to think about getting another tractor at some point, whether that's rented or not. But no, if I'm renting any equipment at the minute. Let's go have a look. No, not not leasing anything at the moment. Definitely, definitely be a good idea for me to start leasing a bigger tractor, I think. Anyway, let me get all this stuff in and load it up. And then we can decide what, whether we're going to sell it, which we probably will end up going to sell it, actually, yes. Uh, now, I think, yeah, two layers of it was plenty in terms of tractor ability to pull it, but also... Um, in terms of its how how alive the bales were, should we say? Okay, well, I'm going to crack on with this, and I'll see you when we've got a full load. Right, I reckon that's the last bale I've 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 been thinking while I've been picking them all up, and we are going to sell all the bales that are left on the field and the load we've got here. Question is where. Probably be the animal market, I would imagine. Have a look. Yeah. Uh, oh, livestock bale auction. Where's that then? Where is the livestock bale auction? Ah, that's over there. So it's right next to the animal dealer. Which is fine. And then we'll come back and we'll grab all the ones off of that field. Hopefully that won't be more than a trailer load. And then we'll take that and sell it as well. I can't put any of the straps on because if I do that, then then it does this. Which is no good. Which means I'm going to have to drive especially carefully. If any drop off, then we'll pick them up another time. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the other field's not a full trailer load. Now it's time for a nice, smooth drive over there. There's the entrance to my farm. I could quite possibly use the, uh, the pickup for this. But uh, I don't know, I'm quite happy using this tractor. Lovely tractor. And the weather's beautiful. Although it looks like there's rain later. Rain on the horizon. Well, not on the actual horizon, but the metaphorical horizon. Oil and... Oh, is that oil pressure right up? Or is that oil level right up? I don't know. Not sure. Water temperature's in the middle, though, so that's good. Yeah, all well, these bales seem fairly static at the minute. So I'm quite pleased with that. Right, 
I'll see you when we're over at the uh, at the bale auction over there. I think that's a bit excessive. Okay, here we are. Don't want to lose any bales. I'm gonna take it easy. So there's the livestock market, and there's the bale sale point. So let's uh, just drive into here and see what happens. Well, that was a wonderful thing to happen. Three thousand four hundred and seventy-nine pounds. Now. Ordinarily, that wouldn't be an awful lot of money, but uh, for us, that's a huge amount. That's just 150% percent percentage, percentage of what we had before. Really, really good. Right, we'll get back and get the other load and bring that along as well. And then we'll see if there's anything in the store. Actually... Let's just check the uh, the sale. No, nothing in the sale that has even been invented yet. Right then. Well, that seems to be all, all but one of the two of the bales. Three of the bales. Okay, I haven't got all of them. They're over here. So I was thinking, uh, once again, I always think while I'm time lapsing because I'm not talking then. Uh, I need to have a look at a couple of gravity trailers, gravity wagons, that I have uh, added through mods. Uh, that's going to be our means of transporting grain, which we're going to need for the winter because we're going to need to transport and sell the grain when it's at its, it's, at its most uh, profitable. Um, I also want to have a look at a loading wagon and I also want to have a look at a uh, higher horsepower tractor. So the, um, alright, I think that's it, can't see any more, just little clumps of straw, no bales. Right, we'll take this and sell it, um, but yes, I, the uh, the dealership here has a, a very good lease to own scheme, so uh, yeah, basically you could lease anything you want and if you continue leasing it, they obviously get a percentage. But the, uh, ultimately, you can buy it off them for a reduced value. And I think that's going to be one of the things that we can do here. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get over there, I'm going to sell this, and then we're going to have a look in the store. I th think I've got a cultivator already. Have I got a cultivator? Do. What's the power requirement for that? 31 horsepower and I have 26. Not ideal. But we can start... We can send this back then and start cultivating. Uh, I imagine that'll be quite a lengthy process. On such big fields. And then we'll need to get a, um, a cedar. Need to get that grass seed in the ground. Map out the fields. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we are back here. I don't... Oh, well, we're definitely not going to get as much as we did for the last load because there's not as many. But that's another £2,000, that's pretty solid. So, I think what I'm going to do now... Is I'm going to send this tractor back, and we can start looking through the shop. So... Uh, set destination, and we want it there-ish. Go on, off your pop. Well, that's interesting, which way are you going? That's wrong. Right, you carry on that way then. Off you put. Oh, hello. Gonna get hit by a car. 
That's not something we need. Okay. Well, now we're over here. Like I said then, so trailers. It uh, comes under trailers. The gravity wagons. So we've got a Parker gravity wagon there. And we've got a very old lizard gravity wagon here, which I really quite like, to be perfectly honest. We can have it any colour we want. So we could have it as a... Uh, we don't... Uh, as a Case IH, that's probably the closest to our tractor. Our tractor being a McCormick. Although having said that, it's probably not the tractor that's, that's going to tow this. What with it being 9.1 tonnes? Fill capacity of 8,000 litres. 11,000 pounds for that. Oh, that would take us down to 500. Well, we can't afford that. There's another gravity wagon there. Hmm. Right, well. Got a fence loading tractor here. That would be quite nice, although probably not the right age, I would think. Oh, no, 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 not buy. God, lucky I didn't have enough money, was it? Um, but yes, you can kit it up with any of these parts here. Including a mower. Interesting. Uh, right, no. This one. So, we need something with a bit more horsepower. The sphere is 40 to 50. John Deere is 50. Oh, Zeta's 25. Don't want that. That's the one we've got at the minute. Hmm, some not bad Fiat's here. That's a that's a pretty nice John Deere. I assume the extra power is not a di oh it is a diesel. They are all diesels. The one oh one horsepower. Hmm. Be uh, quite a nice one. I have a front weight. You can even have a front loader attacher. How much would that be to lease? Ooh, that's quite a lot of money to lease. Would be a good one, but it but it's still quite a lot of money. What about something like this? This Fiat. We have a canopy. Front weight. That's excessively large front weight, isn't it? Hmm. Ooh. Maybe we could upgrade it in the future. That's not a bad one, and it's four wheel drive as well, so that would really help. <laughs> It is, that's, a, that's a bit cheaper. And 57 horsepower, that's not bad. Yes, I think I might rent that. 
There we go. So we have our tractor. In terms of a loading wagon. Here we are. Fill volume. To sign wood or aluminium. It'd be wood, wouldn't it? Attacher type. Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, no. It'd be low attachment. Because that's what I've just bought on the old Fiat there. Now, how much is that? 3,500. Actually can afford to buy that. I prefer to buy than to, to lease. I'm not paying interest then. Oh, yes. Yeah, look at this. Well, I'm not sure we'll be using it for a while, but it'll be absolutely perfect for when we need it. I can't see that I'm going to get any more... Um, yeah, I can't see that I'm going to get any more money coming in until it's time to sell the, uh, the grain. unfortunately but depending on the, the grass growth although uh, it's October now November's the last cut of the year so yeah we won't be getting any grass cut this year it'll be uh, next year so yeah the grain will be the only way of producing any income now how much grain have we got we've got 11,000 wheat and that's probably required for the chickens maybe not all of it but some of it oh, milk we're building up in milk oh we're going to need to get a uh, a milk tanker as well hmm well there's something we can look at anyway i'll see you back at the farm Here we are, and I think the um, loading wagon can be dropped off over here. Nice little space for it. There we go. Right then, I've got to find my um, cultivator. I think we're going to use this tractor to cultivate because it'll have more power. Although, I want to try and keep the usage down as much as I ca can because of the, uh, the cost. At least we'll be buying it at the end. Right. Glad I went for the weight on the front. I think a couple of head of laps and then we can hire a worker to carry on. And then we'll have to think about getting the seed in the ground.
Right, we'll set that off in a worker. And that will leave us to head over here. We'll put this trailer away somewhere. I don't want to put it back in the trees, it will get stuck and wedged again, so we'll we'll just put it over here, I think, for now. There we go, that'll do nicely. Okay. And that leaves us to figure out what we want in the way of a cedar. So there's this Massey Ferguson cedar, this is the John Deere that we know and love. There's a no-till drill here. We're only going to be leasing that with this, whichever one it, whichever one it is that we get. Not sure what a no-till drill is. I think it's going to have to be this one. Lease it for three hundred and six pounds, and we're going to need to buy some seed. Hmm. I don't know how much seed. I'm guessing about four bags. That's three thousand two hundred pounds. That's that's quite an outlay for us. Yeah. We need to reserve the rest of the money, I think. Right, if I send him over here. Off you pop. And go pick up the seed drill. How are we doing for chicken food? I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll probably top them up. Yeah, it's quite a big seed drill, so I uh, don't think we'll be having any problems there in terms of how much seed we can get into the ground. Good chance we may be able to get some slurry on the grass, but probably not until... Uh... Right. There we go. Uh, probably not until um, we've got a lot more slurry from the cows. We've only got 300 litres at the moment. I haven't seen the cows today, actually. Where are they? Aha! Here you are, ladies. How you doing? I didn't mean 3,000 litres of slurry. I meant there's uh, 300, so 400 litres of milk. We've got 2,000 litres of slurry. Actually, not bad at all. Desperately need some more food for them, though. Uh oh, here's the rain. Oh, that's no good. Uh, where was I? Wheelbarrow. Uh, yeah. So the um, we might have a, f a f decent amount in the way of slurry, but I don't think we'll be able to cover either of the fields. I was considering maybe doing a whole field of, of grass seed straight away, but I'm not sure. So yeah, like I say, we'll need, if we, we can feed grass to cows, it's just less effective. Uh, yeah, and we're going to need some. Oh dear, I might have to, I might have to buy some bales of hay. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Hope this rain doesn't last too long. It's quite chilly as well. 12 degrees. I have no idea where I'm going. I want to be over here where the grain silo is. 
What? Here we are. Another 258 litres of seed. Be able to do this with a trailer once we've got a grain trailer, but uh, can't afford it just yet. Oh, getting wet. Come on, chickens. Earn your keep. Make us some eggs. I mean, more eggs. Wow, a slow motion chicken. Devil demon chicken. With red eyes. Gotta watch that one. It'll be trouble. Oh, I could sell that chicken crate, couldn't I? Because uh, chickens don't work with it anyway. Might as well do that from here. There we go, that's £300 more. A little bit more money in. Which isn't bad. Alright, where's... Oh, he's got to here. Not far away then. I shall stop the helper. And we shall continue on. So at the moment, all I can do is bring back whatever seed will fit in the uh, in the cedar, and then we'll go from there. I do love this tractor. I hope it stops raining soon, because I've really got to uh, get on with this seeding. I hope this can pull this. I don't think it'll be able to pull it and do the seeding, but just to get it back. Okay. Fill it for the seed. Eight hundred and thirty liters. I may have overestimated the amount of seed I'd need. Certainly can't afford any fertilizer at the moment, but uh, we'll see if we can get see if we can get some slurry on the field at some point over the winter. Maybe when we've sold the grain. I also need to think about buying a windrower. Oh, that's right. I've got a really wide cedar on the back now. Yes. At least once we've done the headland, each of the fields is going to have a really n nice area for, for wildlife. Right, I'll see you back at the farm. Right, here we are back at the farm. There is absolutely no chance that this tractor will pull that cedar. In fact, the other one needs even a bit low on power because it needs 60 horsepower. And that one's only got, well, I think 50 at the minute. So... I'm going to put this tractor away under cover. The cows have sensibly got into their shed, it looks like. There we go. A cool make farm all. And. Here we are over here, so I think I'll take over from him now. And there's 
all that's left to do is get the grass seed in, which shouldn't take too long at all. I hope. Depends how fast we can pull it with this tractor. I can't up the engine power now because we're leasing it. Alright, we'll get this done and then I'll catch up. Well, it turns out my new tractor has got a very tiny fuel tank. All it's done is cultivate this field, and they're already on flashing red. I'm not even sure we'll be able to get all the cultivating com completed, because there's still a big patch behind me. Over there. So, let's go and top up while we're down this end. And yes, before anybody says it in the comments, I do realise that the seed drill I've gone for is a direct drill and therefore I shouldn't have needed to cultivate everything. However, I didn't actually know which seed drill I'd be going for before I started and therefore cultivating was the correct thing to do. Right. Well, that didn't take very long to fill up at all. Let's have a look actually. 80 litre tank. 80 litres is not much at all. Alright, so we just need to finish off a, this little bit of cultivating. Then we'll be able to, to drill. It'll be a lot quicker to drill than it was to cultivate. Now, where are these bits over here that I've missed? Yeah, a lot quicker to drill than it will be to cultivate. That's because I think I think the working speed is higher and the width is higher. Although well, we're going to struggle a little bit on horsepower, so we'll have to see how it goes. But we'll start off by doing one lap of headland of grass. In fact, we're going to be doing the whole field of grass. I've decided. Then in. In March or April, we can carve it up and do different crops. But yeah, in the meantime, we've got... Yeah, we're going to have a whole field of grass and we can turn it all into silage. It's not going to yield very well. Because I haven't got fertiliser on it. <laughs> and we haven't done lime, we haven't ploughed or anything like that. So, it is what it is. And we'll do the best we can, but 
fertilizing isn't going to be one of those things that we can do. Unfortunately. last little bit. Looking quite miserable in the sky, apart from over that way. That way looks alright. But it's uh, definitely getting on a bit. We're going to be finishing this in the dark, I think. Alright, let's go put the cultivator back. And then we'll start on field. Uh, 125, 85. Oh yeah, no, there's nothing, nothing that would have required less power that I've got currently installed. If anybody knows of an old Cedar or anything, that would be perfect. These planters are okay, but they can't do grass. Um, the only other thing that could on grass is a weeder. And even that's 90 horsepower. Or, oh, what about this? Yep, 90 horsepower. So we've got the best thing for the job. Except it's not really the best thing for the job. Anyway, I'm going to let the worker finish off. I need to get it done today. I'm going to go in for a bit of dinner. But, um... Yes, I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And next time we will need to buy the cows some hay. I'll just take the pickup to do that. So, see you again very soon. Bye for now.